the Bellagio Fountains, trademark of the Las Vegas Strip out here in the desert, but so is Thomas Mack Arena in the pavilion during NBA Summer League week. And after several games on the docket, we are ready for the playoffs starting this weekend. Javon Freeman, Liberty, 24 points his last game. He's going to start this game on the bench. And he's been a spark plug coming off the bench throughout Summer League for the Raptors. So going to go back to that role in this one. But he's been their most consistent performer thus far. So again, Miami, right now, they have the best point differential of all the undefeated teams. So they believe if they win this game, they will be part of that final four going into the semifinals this weekend. Stevens looking up top for where, just like that, we are off and running here. Lazy pass there by Carlson. And it is 11 0. Miami Heat to start this game. You think they don't want to be undefeated and go to the playoffs this weekend? Many of the guys looking over. The Raptors finally get on the board. Carton, nice cut to the basket. That's shocking right there, Michael E. Looks like the Raptors picking up their defensive intensity here. Some of the guys are coming off the bench. But they didn't cover the corner three by Josh Christopher. Probably a third. And that's a great question because as these guys get older in the rankings, the NBA draftability becomes a factor. When you get to this level, it's not going to be about scoring. Gurrier with the baseline drive for the dunk. Stevens follows the miss, the swider. Larson on the other side. Miami that's the 10th three of the first half for the rap, for, for the Heat, pardon me. Love the pass by Josh Christopher. Carlson spots up for three. Nice find, great action right there. Just staying, playing off two feet, getting into the painted area. Stevens can't get to go. Raptors pull it up. His last time playing at Chapel Hill yeah. against Carolina, 39. Ooh. You remember we talked about DJ Carton, right? Yes. <laughs> He's athletic. He, he did not miss that opportunity to touch the rim. He did. We were talking about uh, players being in the right environment. To me, that is the true measure of a team's front office and their scouting. Yeah. I think a lot of it had to do with his uh, summer league teammates. <laughs> but when you consider the fact of how valuable this experience is, that's the way, by the way. In comparison to going to the other side of the rim, that's how you attack the basket. Excuse me, Mr. Ware. That one's got to feel good for Harry knocking that one down. Get up. Okay, Alondis. Not quite the dunk of the summer league like he had last time out. That no. still counts for two. Very pedestrian. Carlson. Carlson's been effective. He has been. If there has been a, you know, a silver lining to this dark cloud for the Raptors, it would be Carlson. He's been effective throughout the entire game. His energy has been there for sure. He struggled a bit. Yes, he has, you know. But you look at Khalil Ware, who's had success. Two years of college. Mm -hmm. Taller, probably more athletic, because he's been in it for 20-plus years under Pat Riley. Nice feed there about to road to Chomchi for the dunk. Question. Nice take there by Jerome. It would be the late great Kobe Bean Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace. So the Miami Heat handle business 109-73. They win their first four games here in Las Vegas, and they will be going to the playoffs this weekend. 109-73. Over on ESPN2, we got more Summer League action, Trail Blazers and the Hornets. He's Corey Alexander. I'm Michael Eves. Thanks for hanging out with us here on ESPN+. Plus.